morning, Harry. Morning. I come every day to this shop, every morning before going to work, strap my morning muffin. <laughs> I describe it as a great little shop, you know, it's open 24-7 pretty much, you know, it's easy access, they've got everything you need. Well, it's nothing to look at, it's pretty pokey and... Uh... Yes, it's a typical corner deli. <laughs> oh, actually, it's not on the corner, is it? But yeah. <laughs> it's a good little super deli, I guess, like, it's, it will sort out most problems. Yes, yeah, so my name Hong, and I work in the deli shop about three and eight months. Three years and eight months, yep. So uh, after 1975, the communist controlled my country, so we tried to go overseas by boat. And I was coached by them, and I, they put me in a yard over four years, four years and three months. In 1982, I come here. Great. Thank you. I bought my croissant, my bread, and some popcorn today. I actually just came here today to get some change for the bus. <laughs> Today I come for buying some chips and thread and needles for okay. sewing. Yeah. Some newspaper and some um, chocolate biscuits. Came here mainly to buy milk and cigarettes, like I always do. I came to buy some cigarettes. <laughs> the double dipped cherry. Right. <laughs> for my bacon and egg burger. Uh, and chocolate. <laughs> well, coming to this shop, is always friendly. They're beautiful people. It's a family-owned business from what I can gather. I don't know you around, but you know the kids work here on weekends. Um, Mum and Dad work here, so just totally friendly. And always something that, that you want is here. Yeah, and if it's not, you ask for it to get it in. And they sell everything here. You can find anything. <laughs> Yesterday I need something to knitting, and they sell it. <laughs> I like the fact that it's close. I like that they've got what I'm looking for and that when I do come here I feel like my custom is appreciated as opposed to just give me all your money. <laughs> I really like the service here, they're always really nice to me and they know me now so it's good. Um, I like the fact that it's five minutes, 500 metres up the road but I don't like the fact that it's got lots of fat food that you get and I'm okay, gain lots of weight. Sometimes uh, when it looks like they've run out of the Sunday Times, if I'm a bit late coming here, they usually have one or two under the counter for regular customers. I've found that a couple of times. So. With with dry cleaning, I mean, I just I just give give them my, my shirt and they, they, they use my first name and I don't, I don't need a docket or anything. So if I'm late, they'll give me a call and say, look, Phil, you know your, your dry cleaners is you know, is ready. So yeah, just nice and easy. Excellent service here. I found that uh, Master Hong, as I call him. Master Hong, he's a bit of a legend, a bit of a guru, a wise bloke, very nice family. Thank you, thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much. You need a bed? No, I don't. Thank you. For the good thing I'm, uh, I do in the shop, so I meet a lot of different people and meet the family. See ya, bye. But I don't like, so working very long now. Normally, I help out whenever I can, but they'll be normally Fridays, Saturdays and Sundays. If I can, if I'm not busy for uni, I'll work during the week. Just whenever I can, really. It's great to be part of the community. So. When you go down to the IJ to buy a litre of milk, one sort of needs to almost feel, uh, need to dress up a little bit, behave a bit, you're a bit more of a, uh, a sheep being put through the rat sort of thing and you know, to be dipped, whatever. I like the fact that smaller shops, you get to know the people that work here a lot more, it wears if you go to a bigger shop, it's just, you're just another customer. Especially when you get older and you might not be well, but you can pop out and you can always get some of the things that you need without bothering anybody. And older people like to be independent. It's a fact to have a corner shop simply because I don't drive. So, um, you know, if I run out of anything, it makes it very difficult for me to get around. So. I just think having having some some focal point uh, rather than the kind of the, the kind of bigger shop centres is, is just so really nice, you know. Yeah. And a lot of the local people just sit here, I think, because if you're unemployed or you're not having any specifics, they sit here with their mates and have a chat or sit and talk on their phones to their friends. So it's a little like a community meeting place. Yeah, I would prefer. 
local business, uh, small business than big, big business. Make uh, make the thing different. Otherwise, all the supermarkets the same. The small business be give you something more. In my opinion. It's nice to have just a, a little small shop amongst amongst everything else. You know, this is just your regular spot. It's safe and it's it's always going to be there. So I guess you know it's with everything changing. This is just a solid little rock to grab onto. You know. Come on, come on. Yeah, this on. is the other reason yeah, I like yeah, coming down here because yeah, I bump into on. the local uh, riffraff. <laughs> yeah, we, we, we collide. We collide, yeah. Um, <laughs> this is the beauty of having a uh, deli this fast. close. Yeah, it is. Is that you can rush out here without having a shower or shaving or anything. You don't have to get all dressed up. And they tolerate you, they actually put up with you. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'll miss the shop if it closed down. Great shop. <laughs>